Hey guys, so I've got really exciting recipe to show you today. Um, the most popular, I think, video I've ever put up here and was one of the most popular recipes in the blog ever were my sweet potato brownies. But not everyone could get them to work, so I've spent a while jigging the recipe around. I've got a new and improved version that we're going to make today. So it's more chocolatey, it's sweeter, it's got a bit of coconut oil for extra gooiness, um, it's got oats rather than buckwheat and that together makes them so much yummier they're literally the most delicious thing ever and then we've also introduced an icing so all around they are just amazing you guys are going to have to make them so to start with you need about 500 grams of sweet potato which is about two sweet potatoes this size you just want to peel them and then we're going to just chop them up quite small and just steam them for like 15 to 20 minutes till they're really soft and gooey and i know it sounds so weird but the sweetness of them and then the kind of really gooey texture makes the brownies just incredible, like really soft, lovely, lovely base. It's, it's weird, I know. <laughs> Hello, Austin. I don't think you're going to really like raw sweet potato, my friend. Perfect. So then just chop those up nice and small. So the smaller you do, then the quicker that they'll cook. Okay, perfect. Now you just need a steamer and boil the kettle. If you don't have a steamer, you can just boil them. Um, but I prefer to steam them. So just put all the sweet potato in, put in a bit of boiling water, put the lid on and then just put them on the heat to steam while you prep everything else. Perfect, so the next thing we do is we can just start measuring out all the other ingredients that we need. So we need about 100 grams of oats and the oats work much better than the buckwheat flour, the texture is nicer, the taste is nicer. And then we need 100 grams of ground almonds with that. And you can always just grind them in a food processor if you don't have ground almonds. And then we're going to need six tablespoons of cacao powder. And then we'll just let that steam. Um, and then once it's steamed, we're going to blend it with the medjool dates. So I've already pitted these, it just makes it a bit easier. Medjool dates are just softer, squidgier, sweeter than normal dates. But if you only have normal dates, no problem to use those. You may just need to soak them to get them soft enough um, and you may need to adjust with a bit of sweetener. So we need some maple and then also some coconut oil. So two tablespoons of this and about six of this, but you can really change that depending on how sweet you like things. I'm such a sweet tooth, so I like it really sweet. Cool, so once these are basically steamed, you just want to turn your oven on uh, to about 180 degrees-ish on a fan and then we can take these off. So. You just want to check that they're soft enough that you can kind of really mush them and squish them up and if they're kind of doing that with a spatula then they're good. Okay, so then what we're going to do is just pop them in a food processor with our dates and let those just mush up together. So you just put the lid on and blend. So that's why you need to steam them so they're really soft because otherwise you're going to make brownies with lumps of sweet potato in which I don't think anyone's going to like. And then so we can just get all the rest of our ingredients that we've mixed together and put that in. And then the only thing we're missing is just a pinch of salt, which just helps bring out the flavour a little bit. So now I'll put the lid back on and just blend up until the whole mix is really smooth. Perfect. I cannot tell you how good that smells. So you can see it's like really gooey, thick, chocolatey. Um, so now we just need a baking tray and either use a bit of parchment um, baking paper or just grease it down. I like doing it with coconut oil. Perfect. So now just scoop the mixture in. Then just make sure you smooth it down so the mix is even. So there we go. So we just need to pop this in the oven and then once it comes out of the oven we'll let it cool and we'll make the icing. Perfect, so the kitchen is smelling delicious. The brownies are cooked. So I'm gonna take them out. Here we go. And I'm just gonna let this cool. And then while that cools, we're gonna make the icing. So the icing's really simple and you don't have to have it, but it does make it so much yummier. And it's cacao, which I've refilled because I finished it last time. Coconut oil, maple, and then um, if you are allergic to nuts, you could just use double the amount of oats in the actual brownies rather than ground almonds and um, tahini or pumpkin seed butter or just skip it when it comes to the almond butter. So it's quite easy to swap. So we just need a pan. So we want two spoons of the cacao powder, two of the coconut oil, which as you can see needs to be melted, and then 
two almond butter and then just one maple. Perfect. So we're just going to melt this down. So then, it looks like this. It's a beautiful, smells good, chocolatey mix. And then, as I said, you just want to put it in the fridge for a couple of minutes um, just to let it set so that it doesn't go all over the brownies. I'm just going to try and take the whole thing out of the tray. Hopefully, we had enough coconut oil in there to make it not stick. Okay, fingers crossed, it's always a scary moment. Oh, it feels good. Perfect. I'm going to just flip it over. Awesome. So once this feels nice and cool and your icing sat enough, then we can just put it all together. So... You can see it's still a bit of runny, so you can spread it, but not too much. So we just want to pour it on. Look at that. Yum. And spread it. And it makes it look so nice as well, because it's got that nice shine to it. That gives the brownies extra beauty. And now, it's best to just leave this to sit for a little bit, and the icing will completely set again and then you can chop it up and serve it. Show you guys how good they are. Look at that, how yummy. They're still just a little bit warm. Sweet potato brownies, how good do they look? And they smell amazing. Um, they taste amazing as well. So I can't wait to see you guys make them. You have to let me know what you think. If you had tried the other version, and had a few problems with it, hopefully this will be a complete winner for you. So do let me know. Put any questions or anything else you want to see in the comments below. Um, otherwise, thank you guys and happy baking.